Hi everyone, how you doing today? Well, it is um, mid-May. So I just wanted to give you kind of an update of what's going on in the whole metro Atlanta area in the last three months. So that's February, March, and April of 2020. And what we're comparing it to is last year of February, March, and April of 2019. So we can just see um, what has happened from last year to this year. The numbers are really interesting. So um, what we're seeing is the number of actives are actually lower, and that's because of the pandemic we were in. So they were lower about 15%. The number of pendings were lower by like 27%, but the number of sold, which is an interesting number, actually is higher by 7.8%. So the months of uh, listing supply is a little lower. That's expected. Um, the median sale price um, has gone up 6.9% from last year to this year. Um, the sales to list price actually is higher at 97.6%. It's really good. So what list price to sales price just means that when you list a house, and then when it goes under contract and is sold, that is 97.6%. Uh, so the median days on market actually went up from 40 to 42 days. And this is the whole entire Metro Atlanta area. So my um, take on all of this is that the market's doing very well considering we really um, couldn't do a lot of business in March and April. We had you know a lot of people were having issues and we couldn't show properties. We had to do a lot of things virtually. So I feel like we did really well with um, from last year to this year. What we're seeing now it was we're seeing very low inventory. So there's a lot of buyers on the market and there's not a lot of houses to sell. So what we're seeing is people are going under contract because people do have to buy um, in this pandemic, they really do. I mean, if they're getting transferred here or j job change, they have to find a house. So we're here to help. Um, another take on what's going on on the market is the mortgage rates. They are so low. They're under 3%. So selling your old house, getting the equity out of it, and then moving into a new house with a lower interest rate really is helpful. So sometimes you even can move from a smaller house and move to a bigger house and your mortgage payment's the same because the interest rate is so low. So I just wanted to give you an update from what's going on in the market. Please let us know if you want any um, information on the market. We're here to help. Everyone on our team is here from the Mary Ellen Vanaken team. We look forward to talking to you. Just reach out to us and have a great day. Thank you.